So this is the, the uh, 15th move. Again, two palms added together. I don't go too much detail of that. So again, it's just the move from Qigong. Um, we're putting the Pilates set up. We're zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out abdominals to bring in that Pilates set up. This one's called lifting the ball. Nice basic motion. We're emptying and filling from one side to the next. Um, again, it's got a few different names. Sometimes called holding the ball in front of the shoulders. Um, again, varying names, but again, doesn't matter. Again, there's about 40,000 forms of Qigong, so it doesn't, you know, they're gonna have a lot of these moves in. It basically, it's motion. So if we're going down the Pilates route, not down the meridians. This one is known to help the spleen, the pericardium, spleen on the left-hand side of the body. Um, we're not going down the, the sort of meridians and organs we're benefiting. Again, the oxygen will benefit every single organ, cell, cellular body in a compensatory manner, compensating the next in a beneficiary way. But again, I digress there. So we're going to go straight in to the breathing. So again, we're going to zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, navel towards the spine. They go together. You can't do one without the other. If you zip up pelvic floor, that helps you throw on the corset. And if you scoop out your abdominals, take the navel towards the spine, engage the corset, it does the pelvic floor. But again, we just mention them, um, mention them segmentally. Zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. And breathing it out through the nose with the mouth shut, Unlike the traditional Pilates breath, which goes out through the mouth, we're going in and out through the nose. So as you do that now, breathe in through the nose and out through the nose and simply zip up pelvic floor and scoop out the abdominals. Take the navel towards the spine. And again, just feel the breath coming in and out through the nose. I've gone to Ujjayi breath already, don't worry about that. Again, we'll do that in a minute. So again, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, breathing in and out through the nose. Now, doing that now, you'll naturally feel the out breath wants to fall longer than the in breath. Allow that to happen, okay? Allow that breath to happen and lengthen longer than the in breath. So we've got the Pilates set up with the yogic principles in there, that filtering breath. In and out for that small filter of the nose. And we're just elongating the out breath longer than the in breath. Okay, so as you do that now, you're bringing in hypnotic responses of elongating that out breath longer than the in breath. Okay. Now again, if you want to take this on further to Ujjayi breath, victorious breath, we're going to grip the esophagus. Slightly more advanced yogic breath. If you can't get this, don't worry. Just carry on doing the breathing we're just doing there. Then you're going to grip it yourself goes here. And exhale. As you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, you'll get that sound if you've got the Ujjayi breath. If you can't get it, don't worry. Just carry on breathing in through the nose and out through the nose, okay? And again, that smaller filter helps you lengthen the out breath, but this Ujjayi breath helps you lengthen the breath even longer. So as you do that now, as you can hear, that gives the mind something to focus on. Okay, and that get, helps us focus. It's like focusing breath. People do that naturally sometimes when they're doing something like again, a good analogy, sort of thread and needle, something like that. And again, you can just hear them naturally do that. It's a natural focusing breath. Victorious breath, Ujjayi breath, seashore breath. Focus on that, allow your mind to focus on that. And allow that out breath to come longer than the in breath. And consciously do it now. Make the out breath longer than the in breath without forcing it. Okay, quadruplet, doublet, triplet, whatever you like, the out breath. Make it longer than the in-breath. And as you're doing that now, allow that simplicity just to relax the mind at will. Okay, again, either Ujjayi breath or not. If you've got the Ujjayi breath. Ujjayi 
you got that soft, silky, whistling, ujjayi breath, victorious breath. That helps us fan the fire to burn all the toxins of the body. Helps us build the heat within the body. That lovely cleansing yogic breath. Lovely. So this link is the motion. So again, nice simple motion. It's just lifting the ball. Again, I'm gonna go through the hand motion in a minute. From here, here. So I've seen it done different ways. Just seen it done here. As I say, it's just motion or here. Now I'm going to bring, show you the feet. You're partially empty and fill into a sort of cat stance each way. So again, hands are here. See it done like this, just breathing in and just letting go. Breathe in the center and then go again. You get a few motions out of it. I really find that one goes with the hypnotic breath, helps you wring out all the tension from the spine. Again, this one, the more 2D one, helps you if you're just you know, suffering, you can't sort of get the coordination, then this is a nice one to start. Exhale for as long as you like, partially empty the foot and the cat stance. Fill up and exhale, keeping the tension out of the shoulders. If you've got that sort of skewer through your head and you're just exhaling in, then breathing in, coming back. Again, shoulders down, exhaling. If you want to sort of keep that going with the breath, keep it really relaxes the fingers. Good one if you're doing Tai Chi or something, really relaxes the shoulders, the fingers, the arms, and really sort of wrings out all the tension from the spine. Um, there's a few like that in this one. But again, the next one is gazing at the moon. But um, yeah, that's a really good one. So that's it, lovely, bang.